Hi, and welcome to freenetworkstudy.com. Today we'll be doing some IP filtering using access lists. And we'll be working on this particular lab. Let's have a look at the requirements. So from the list, host one belonging to the human resource department needs to be able to telnet to the server on the research and development department. No other host from the human resource department should be allowed to telnet to that server and any other traffic should be allowed from that host one or from any host. Let's have a look at host one. Can we ping the server? Yes. Can we telnet to the server? Yes. Right, let's go ahead and configure the access list on the router. First, let's check that no configuration is already existing. Okay, nothing besides the IP addresses. Now, since we are talking about filtering IP packets based on, on uh, TCP ports, we would have to use an extended access list. So let's just pick access list 100. So access list 100, we want to permit telnet from host one to the server. So that's permit. Telnet is a TCP based application. From host one, so that's 10.1.1.1. Here I don't have to specify the white card mask since we use the, the host keyword, so the router automatically assumes a slash 32 mask. We're going to host 192.168.1.2, that's the server's IP address, and we'll be using telnet, so that's port 23. We could just write telnet here, it, that would be exactly the same. So now requirement 2 is that no other device from the HR department should be able to telnet to the server. So access list 100, deny this time, still TCP, and we can write any, that's the simple way. We could also write the whole subnet 10.1.10/24 using the white card mask 0.0.0.255 but N is much simpler. Going to the host 192.168.1.2 and still port 23. I'll write 10 at this time. Okay. And any other traffic should be permitted. So that's access list 100, permit. And since it's any other traffic, means any TCP or UDP traffic. You can write IP, that, that will include both. And any, any, that's it. So now we've created the access list, we can have a look at it if you want. To show IP access list. Looks good. Now let's go ahead and apply it to the, to the right interface. Well, I know it's interface fast, fast in the zero, 00. Otherwise we could double check that too. To show IP interface brief. Correct. Fast in the zero, 00. So now the question is, is it to be applied inbound or outbound? Looking at the diagram, we see that we see that host one is connected to to that fast internet zero zero. So traffic co coming from the HR department going to the R and D department would be ingress traffic. So let's go ahead and apply it using the IP access group command. So interface fast internet zero zero interface with an A. And IP access group. 
was 100 and we said it was ingress or inbound right now let's go back to host one let's see if we can ping the server still I can can we tell that yes but you see since since this traffic was supposed to be permitted and, and it was before obviously before we applied the access list it doesn't tell us if we succeed in blocking uh, other other telnet traffic from HR to R and D, so let's just go ahead and change the IP address on host one. Interface fast internet zero zero, and let's change the IP address to ten dot one dot one dot twenty, and mask off. 255.255.255.0 Right, let's go back to the menu. Well, we could do it from here, but the menu is, the menu is fun. Alright, let's try to ping the server. And yeah, that's allowed. Since we have re requirement number 3, any other traffic should be allowed. Now we shouldn't be able to tell that to the server. Let's try. Doesn't work. So that's successful. Thank you for watching.